talk to me like I'm a maid. Josh, for crying out loud, I am your wife. And I'm your husband, for Christ's sake, your head. And I can do whatever I want to do with my money without consulting you. No, Josh, you are very wrong. It's our money. We have a joint account. This is outrageous. I, I, I just regret operating such an account with you. For better and for worse, remember. Not anymore. Josh, don't walk out on me. I'm talking to you. We're done talking. No, we are not. This conversation is over. It's not. It's over. Josh, I'm talking to you. Ah! Ah! Miss. Ah! Easy, easy. Miss, miss, miss. Miss, miss, don't do this. <laughs> Love. It's beautiful, you know? It's I like this place. <laughs> yep. The environment is cozy. Why haven't you brought me here all this while? We agreed to allow things to unfold gradually, didn't we? That's no excuse, Eddie. We're here now, so let's enjoy the moment. What are you trying to hide from me? We agreed no calls, just us. I know, but I can't ignore this place. Hey, my adorable M. What? What did you do to her, Josh? Eddie. Okay, I'll be there in a jiffy. Um, there's been an emergency. Mercy's in the hospital. I need to be there, okay? I'll see you. Fracas. The usual episodes. Have you been keeping records of Abra? Do I have to? You sound like you do. Get a mask off your face, Josh. Even your neighbors can count to the number of scuffles in your house. How do you mean? This is not why you called me. Can I see her? She's asleep, and the nurses say she can't be disturbed. Why did you call me if I can't see she her? She asked that I call you. And the baby? I'm in the pregnancy. Hey, baby Jazz. Don't touch me. What's up with you? If it is about the incident that happened at the restaurant earlier today, then I apologize. I thought you understood my actions. Understood what? You embarrassed me in front of a waiter by reducing me to a mere roadside chick, carried along like a handbag, and you want me to understand? Wow. Why do you give a married woman so much attention more than your fiancé? Have I been doing that? Don't fool me, Eddie. I wasn't born yesterday. I see the look in your eyes and how your adrenaline rises whenever her issue pops up. Why are you trying to create a mountain out of a molehill? Is that it? Why are you acting as if you don't know the relationship between Mercy and I? She is a married woman for God's sakes. Are you doing it with it? Are you out of your mind? Eddie, I'm bored. Come and take me out to dinner. What about Josh? He should take you. He wouldn't. Why? Since I took him, he's changed. Well, it takes two to tango. So what is his issue? I wish I knew. All right, um, get ready. I'll come and pick you up. Come with Jasmine. Why not, if you like to? Okay, I'll see you shortly. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Get ready, let's go for dinner. At whose behest? Does it matter? Yes, it does. Now, justify that. Mercy is in the hospital fighting for her life and that of her unborn child. And this is your thought about her? Come on, Jazz. Show some concern.
Thank you so much for always being there for me. What are friends for? It's a pity Jasmine couldn't join us. Yeah. What's up with you two? You know you go a long way. There is something about her that I'm yet to come to terms with. Don't waste your time if you think she's not the one. Will you be my miss, right? <laughs> Me. With my protruding tummy. Eddie, you're a clown. I'm serious. I mean, just cast your net wide. I'm sure you get a good one. Right. I've been really bored. I know. It's obvious? I mean, Josh is not doing well at all. At <laughs> all. I swear. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. my baby okay there's no more baby no no it can't be Stop crying, honey. Please get some water. I don't want any water. I want my baby. I want my child. Honey, we can always have another child in no time. When, Josh? When? I blame you for this accident. Did I cause the accident? Yes, you did. I didn't push you, did I? Well, if you were patient enough for us to conclude on the discussion, this wouldn't have happened. If you had restrained yourself, this wouldn't have happened either. This is the second pregnancy I have lost. Honey, you won't lose anymore, I assure you. It's all your fault. It's your fault! As painful as it is, what can we do about it? What is done is done. You're evil. You're so heartless, Josh. You can't even show a little remorse. Ah. Come on, honey. Don't you dare come close to me. baby wasn't it for real you're acting insane i didn't kill your baby it was just an accident an accident caused by your immaturity you're overreacting get hold of yourself you've been too emotional don't do anything you're going to regret don't you dare touch me
Talk of the devil. How is your wife's condition now? She seems to have lost it. She's on a distractive spree, smashing everything on her way. How do you mean? I just don't know how to explain this to you. But I think you need to come over to help Tim here. You guys have a way of putting each other back on track. Please. Okay, I'll be there soon. Thank you very much. Are you going to do the delivery on my blind side? No. But the client is expecting delivery in 45 minutes. Let him wait. Or better still, you handle it. Why are you going to? Going to see Josh. Be plain to say you are going to see his wife, your girlfriend. You know what? You can come with me to ascertain the truth. Eddie. Why are you playing with your business? I'll speak to the client to reschedule delivery. Hey. It's not gonna pose a problem, okay? Okay. If you say so, give me a minute. Sure. Goodness, you're here. You sounded really worried. Please. <sighs> oh, Jasmine, forgive me. How do you do? How do you do too? My wife is driving me insane. Tell me that's not real, Josh. <sighs> I mean, I'll take it as a figure of speech. Well, I wish it's the same. Eddie didn't tell you anything? Eddie didn't tell me anything. Where is she? Well, she locked herself in the bedroom after threatening to stop me. What? Take me to her. Is locked. Are you sure she's inside? She's in there. You see what I mean? Baby M, it's me, E. Please open the door. I want to talk to you. Is it really you, Eddie? Yes, it is me. Calm down, I'm here now. Eddie, Josh killed my baby. I didn't do it. He pushed me down the stairs and the baby died. It was an accident. He's lying, Eddie. Can the both of you leave us for a moment, please? Please. You need a drink? Yes, please. I need it.
You didn't believe her. Did you? We we had a little misunderstanding. And um she slipped. And that's how come she lost her pregnancy. Oh. Now she's blaming me. I don't expect you to buy into my narrative. Um, as a woman, I know where your sympathy lies. How is she? She's in a very terrible state. Oh, goodness. But I know somebody who can, you know, change her back to her usual self. Hey, mom. No. And who could that be? She's our childhood friend. She makes up the trio. I'm sure she's the right person to bring her back on track. So how do we get her? There's been long ahead from her. Don't you have a contact? No. But I'll make inquiries. Okay, great. Um, so in the meantime, how do I handle her? Excuse me. I know the expression on your face. It better not be what I'm thinking it is. Don't even suggest it. Jazz, please. You're not her husband. You can't play his role. But Ness is my bosom friend. There's a huge difference between a woman's friend and her husband. You should know where to draw the line. So what do I do now? What? You have done enough already. Leave the rest to your husband to figure out whilst you try to find the special person with the magic wand. Hey, King Wand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh -uh. I got a maid in my home right now. She drives me crazy all the time. And I don't know how to make her go away Despite the fact that she is crazy Why did I miss it, honey? We were once a very lovely couple An envy of our circle of friends So how did we drop from that pinnacle And became incompatible in our dealings without realizing it? I have to take a critical look at my reflection in the mirror for possible answers. Honey, can you just drop this issue? This is a public place. I see no reason why we should be doing this here. I brought it up at home and you threw it away. I brought it back in the car and you threw it out of the window. Here we are and you're showing no interest. Can we still not do this here? It's a public place. I, I, I'm just surprised at you. You just nag too much. Are you walking out on me? Hello. Wow. You look beautiful. Thank you. You you shop here regularly? Yes, why? Because I'm new here and um I just got into town recently and um I don't know how things work around here. I was wondering if you could you know, guide me. I don't understand what you mean, Miss There. Forgive my manners. I'm Godson. Oh, Mr. Godson, I'm Mercy. Mm. Mercy? That's a meaningful name. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> okay, um, where's your shopping list? Shopping list? I don't have none. You're supposed to. Okay, what do you want to buy? I... Honey, um, I hope you didn't forget to get in touch with the nanny about Percy's lunchbox? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Okay. <sighs> that is your husband? Yes. All right. <laughs> Both emotionally and physically, 
You let the devil occupy that space. And he takes your position without your permission. And he builds a home for himself in your place. Honey, please forgive me for creating that space. Fiance Jasmine. Jasmine, this is Amma, my childhood friend. How do you do? Mm, hi, how do you do? I heard a lot about you. Oh, so I'm no longer a stranger to you then. We are family. Sure. Um, Eddie, so what is it that happened to Mercy? Don't worry, we have a lot of time to talk about that, okay? Why don't you rest for a while? I mean, you've had a long trip. Mm. Honey. Why don't you go fix us something to eat? Hmm. Come on. Get us something to eat. What was that about? Don't worry about her. I mean, she's in her element. <laughs> Sometimes if we are lucky, someone comes along and shows her. Instead of Eddie to take her where she needs to be, he wants to display his hospitality. What, what kind of hospitable guy is this? <sighs> if I'm not tactful, this will be another messy situation. What really happened to Mercy? Mercy is going through torrid times, you know. I'm anxious to hear it. Tell me. Don't worry, we'll talk about it. Come on, drink. Okay. Sometimes if we are lucky, someone comes along and shows us who we really are. Oh, who we should be. We all wear masks. Everyone, every day. Sometimes we wear them so much and forget who we really are. And sometimes if we are lucky, someone comes along and shows us who we really, we really are, who we should be. My goodness. Am I seeing a ghost? No, it's me. Pinch me. It's me for real. Amma. Um, yes! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my own Amma. Yes! Girl, we have a lot to catch up on. I know, right? <laughs> Thank goodness. Mercy's coming alive again. <sighs> oh, I miss mm. you. Why is Eddie still not back? Oh, he wants to spend the night with the girls. This reminds me of our childhood days. Yes, Jasmine, what's up? How is it going? Things are going on well. 
Are you coming back with Ama? Well, it depends. I suggest you leave her there. So she can relish old memories with the girls and I believe it will help Miss heal faster. Okay. Come home early enough. I prepared your favorite dish. I'm already full. What do you mean you ate already? Are you going to allow my food to go waste? Okay, I'll be home to eat. Eddie, I know if I don't exert pressure, you're going to spend the night with the girls and leave me alone here. Okay, bye. That must be my husband. Excuse me. Okay. Hey, your presence has really made a difference. Let's see that monster of a husband that she has. Please, Amma. Don't express any ill feelings towards him. I shouldn't let him know that he's wicked. Or you think it's easy to lose two pregnancies in a row? Was that what she told you? She couldn't have told you. You wouldn't understand. Wow. Now you see why I said he's wicked and needs to be told in the face. Even still. Keep a false pretense. At least for Mercy's sake. You are not here to apportion blame. You know I don't pretend. Amma. Guess who's here to visit? We have a visitor. My childhood best friend. Wow, that's interesting. Huh? <laughs> come here. Wow, my wife's spirit has come alive again. Honey, um, meet my childhood best friend, Amma. Amma meets Josh, my husband. Worry your car. Um, I have no idea. Just wouldn't start. Oh, um, um, make it no worry. Just sit, sit, sit for the car. I go fi handle them. Are you a mechanic? <laughs> yes, but um, not a practicing one, you know. I studied mechanical engineering for school. Wow. Don't you, worry. You sure you can fix it? Don't worry, sir. Trust okay. me. Just sit in the car.
Okay, boss. Make you spark the engine. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, yeah, 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 come, boss. Come over. Ah. So what exactly was wrong with my engine? Ah, uh, you see, say, now it be small electrical fault. Like, it lose, your cables lose contact. So, nothing. But now everything <laughs> is fine. So how much do I owe for your service? Oh, anything for your girl. You know, say, me at the hustle, you see. Okay. Okay, here's something for you. Oh! Thank you, thank you, boss. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. my phone. Oh, I left it in the office. No way. I came out of the office with the phone. Oh, gosh. The mechanic girl.
could have been lynched. Why did you do it? I mean, why did you steal my phone? Look, if you want to take me to the police, please do. At least I'll be fed in that cell. So this has got to do with hardship, but you're not a thief. You simply could have asked me for help. It's easier said than done. You're wrong. Not all men are the same. As we're talking, I haven't eaten all day. Eh? How? I don't have money to buy food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you taking me to the police? What is your name? Ahama. Safu Rempo. Where do you live? I live on the streets. On the street? You mean to say a street girl? <laughs> Sir. Please, do you have any spare rooms available? Sorry, all the rooms are booked. Um, Ama, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate all the spare rooms are unavailable. But if you don't mind, you can share my room with me. You're lodged here? Yes, I am, Ama. I'd rather sleep here in the reception. I'm sorry, it's not allowed. Look. You'll be safe with me, okay? Uh, okay. Great. Um, can I please get a key to my room? Here. Thank you. You're welcome. This way. Let's go. Oh, you can have the bed. Whilst I sleep in the chair. <sighs> no, please. I'll sleep in the chair and you take the bed. Amma. Yes. You're my guest. So you need to feel comfortable as much as possible. So go ahead. You can have the bed. Mm, okay, thanks. The bathroom is this way. In case you want to get a cold bath before coming to bed. Okay, thanks. Amma. We all were nice. Everyone, every day, sometimes. Are you in there? Them so much and forget who we really are. And sometimes, if we are lucky, someone comes along and shows us who we really, we really are. Who we should be. What kind of mysterious lady is this? Um, welcome, Mama. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. It's nice to finally meet you. Um, your wife is taking very good care of me. <laughs> I trust she is. Mm -mm. Um, I think we should leave the ladies so they can continue their reunion. 
whilst we go upstairs. Of course. Okay, baby. We'll be okay, upstairs. Okay, baby. I'll see you soon, okay? <sighs> Night. Oh. <laughs> coming I thought you sleep with the girls don't ever say that again don't why shouldn't I because it's completely false you pay so much attention to a married woman all in the name of some childhood bond some attention her husband should be giving her and you think I should be quiet that's a lie what you expect me to hang around you 24 7 as if I don't have work to do what time will I have to work then tell me watch it Eddie very soon, you will incur Josh's wrath. You know, maybe if you suffer half of what Mercy went through, you will learn to appreciate her. What has she been through that no other woman has been through before? Be mindful of the things you say, Jasmine. Now that you guys are complete in town, I wonder if you have the slightest time for me anymore. <sighs> Media from Soko. Hi, darling. I just came to get a glass of drink. I'll be inside. Okay. Mm. You're drinking as well? Yes, care to join? Why not? Sit down then. I saw the manner in which she looked at her, as though you knew her. I have never seen her until now. Your look says otherwise. Don't go having silly ideas in your head. Anyway, when is she leaving? Leaving? She just got here. Honey, but you're feeling better now. So her work here is done. You don't like her, do you? Good night. Good night, baby. <laughs> Considering the ugly, 
circumstances that brought us together. We all wear masks, everyone, every day. Sometimes we wear them so much and forget who we really are. And sometimes if we are lucky, someone comes along and shows us who we really are or who we should be. We all wear masks, everyone. Every day, sometimes we wear them so much and forget who we really are. And sometimes if we are lucky, someone comes along. Josh! <gasps> That's your wife calling. I know. You need to leave before she she eavesdrops. We still have a lot to talk about. You weren't asleep? No. Um, have you seen Josh around? No. He, he's not with you? No. He wasn't next to me when I woke up. Mm. Can I come in? <laughs> Lord, help me. Hey, King Ward. King Ward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh uh. I got a maid in my home right now. She drives me crazy all the time. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, my love. Hi, honey. Hey, um, I know you wouldn't have time to have lunch. So I prepared your lunch and it's in the cooler in the car. That's wonderful. I love you. I love you too, baby. I'll see you soon. Sure. <laughs> Take care. Okay, love. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to freshen up. I'll see you soon, okay? Okay. Intimacy we had that night resulted in pregnancy. We have a child together. Who's there? It's me, honey. Did you forget something? No, honey. The clients postponed the meeting to tomorrow instead. Oh, okay. I'll be out shortly. Okay, honey. Take your time. Yes, the note. The message is explicit. It's not. I'm confused. Do you think this is the best place to talk about this? Your wife may eavesdrop. And you know what that means. We can talk now. Okay. Why did you leave her down like a thief? Everything that happened between us in the given space of time that we met, the intimacy that we had, was like heavenly bliss. 
never felt before. Like the dream that I thought it was. I wanted to be sure that it wasn't a fairy tale in some fantasy world. So I left without waking you up with the intention of returning. And I did return. Only to be told that you had checked out. <sighs> then my world crashed. I couldn't bear the thought of losing the angel that was sent to wipe away my sorrow. <sighs> Three weeks later, I found out that I was pregnant. And in my confused state, I didn't know whether to be happy or be sad. As the pregnancy grew in size, I intermittently went back to the hotel to see if I could bump into you. Only to be told that you had checked out. The receptionist even mocked me. How could you leave without a forwarding contact? My intention wa was to come back. Which I did. But you left. I don't live in that town. I was only there on the business transaction. How could I have known? Lodging in a hotel wasn't enough signal. I didn't realize it. <sighs> so... How did you know the baby's mine? Out to meeting you, I didn't have anything to do with the man. Besides, he's your replica. He's a male? Mm-hmm. I have a son. What? <gasps> I go everywhere with his photograph on my phone. Can I see it? I have a son. Here it is. Wow. It truly looks like me. Um, where is he? He's in Berlin. What? My son is in Berlin at this tender age. I need him. I'm his father. Open the door! Open this door before I break it down! Open the door! affair with my best friend and even have a son with her. Please allow me to explain in details. What other explanation can be detailed on the conversation I heard? Or you want to give me your edited version? No, 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 no. Please allow me to explain. This is the reason why you never gave me anything I desired from you. Don't say that. Is that why you don't wear your wedding ring? Honey, you and I know very well that I don't put it on because it gives me allergies. 
Josh, you have done this to me the second time. Please. And not anymore. Please allow me to explain. Honey. Honey. Honey, you can't do this to me. Oh, God. Honey. Honey, please. You can't do this to me. I am doing it. You have to listen to me. Honey. Josh, don't you try me. Honey, honey, please. Listen to me, I need... Don't you dare touch me. Allow me to explain. Don't touch me. Honey, please let me explain. My best friend. My best you friend. You need to hear me out. You can't go. Hey, please. Don't you dare touch me. Let go. My best friend. At least, allow me to explain Josh! to you. Josh! Honey. Honey! Honey, I'm sorry. Listen, please, please, hear me out. Mercy, please. Do not leave your matrimonial home like this. Please. Let me leave instead, please. You. Mm. <sighs> Honey, please, just hear me out. Oh, God. What have I done? Where did I go wrong, Eddie? Where did I? I have tried to be a lawyer and a humble wife. Josh and Emma have killed me. They have murdered me. Only God knows how long they've been doing this behind my back. They even have a son. They have a son, Eddie. Hey. It's okay. While I'm here lamenting on how many miscarriages I've had, Josh does not even feel anything because he has a son with another woman. What sort of man treats his wife like this? <laughs> Am I supposed to be my best friend, our childhood friend? And she stabbed me in the back. <laughs> How did they even know each other? I don't know. She wasn't even at my wedding. Best friends don't do to each other what she did. It's a taboo. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no. No. I didn't mean to upset the peace in your home, Josh. This is not your fault. I didn't know you were married to my best friend, with whom I've lost contact. I didn't know you were best friends either. Maybe I should just leave. Disappear into the dark, so that you can reconcile with your wife. How about my son? I need to see him. <laughs> I need him back. He's my flesh and blood. Who is he with in Berlin? A good Samaritan. What? Not even a family relative. How can my son be with a total stranger when I can take very good care of him? Don't be an ingrate, Josh. What? Josh! Ellie! The last time I checked, you were not the landlord of this property. If I were, won't be sitting here relaxed after hurting your wife so dearly. What did she tell you? That I'm into Amma, her best friend, your best friend. If you're really going to have an affair outside your marriage, couldn't it have been with any other woman? Why, Amma? Why? Who says I? <gasps> and you, Amma, how could you? Just leave her out of this. When you were coming in for mercy, what did I tell you? Did I not warn you that if you hurt her, I was going to come after you? Are you her guardian? Yes, I'm her guardian angel. You hurt her, you hurt me. <clears throat> You guys don't fight! Stop! I'll, I'll kill you! Stop! I said stop!
brought you breakfast. <sighs> Eddie, you shouldn't have. Jasmine is going to get jealous. Jealous about what? I'm not doing anything silly, am I? I don't remember the last time Josh did anything this romantic. He doesn't know what he's missing. <laughs> wow. Is this for real or is some romantic scene in a movie? What are you driving at, Jasmine? Eddie, come with me. I said come with me! Ideal situation. Stop talking rubbish. Wake up, Eddie. Wake up and smell the coffee. If you're deceiving yourself about how you feel about her, you cannot deceive me. You are being unnecessarily melodramatic. The place of a married woman's home is a husband's house, not a male best friend's house. She must leave this house today. Jasmine! 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 Jasmine, listen to me. She's just been over dramatic about nothing. Okay? without hearing me out first. You broke the blood treaty that kept us together and you expect me to hear your side of the story? I didn't know Josh is Mercy's husband. Remember, we cut ties for some time. And so many things happened during those times. Don't justify your betrayal as if you don't know what instinct is. This situation clearly tells that. Instinct does not apply in some situations. Hope you know Mercy's not gonna forgive you for this. Hope you know that. Please. Pass the phone to her. I doubt she wants to speak to you. Oh, wear a mask, everyone, every day. Sometimes we wear them so much and forget who we really are. And sometimes if Amma we wants are to talk to you. Someone I don't want to talk to that betrayal. She's been calling all day. Really I told you she would not speak to you. You're even lucky I spoke to you. But I spoke to Eddie instead. Just leave her alone. She's in pain, Josh. No woman will accept what I did. All this wasn't a deliberate act. You didn't know I was married. You should have told me. Meeting you has become very fruitful. You're able to give me something she's not been able to give me all this while of our marriage. But you love her. She's your wife. Do you love me? I asked you a question. I do. But I won't hurt my best friend. Whether I like it or not, something binds us together for eternity. 
Not like this, Josh. Not like this. House, you don't sleep in the living room. Oh, you think I'm a busybody? Now, let me tell you something your friend has not been able to address in this house. Your friend is my fiance, and you are standing between us. You are not responding. Oh, I'm talking nonsense. Mercy. Mercy. Messi, get up. Messi! Messi! Messi, get up! Messi! Hi. Messi! Messi, get up! Messi, get up! Pray nothing bad happens to her. Why are you talking like I did something to her? You never liked my relationship with her. No, Eddie. I disliked the attention you showered on her. My attention. And you went this far? Redirect your accusation to someone else. I'm innocent. So what happened to her? Ask the doctor. I've said all I know. <sighs> hey, Jess. I am not evil, Eddie. Not even Amma, whom you guys have vilified so much, is either. So the both of you teamed up to perpetrate this, right? Hmm? So you could get her out of the way so you could achieve your nefarious plans, right? Really? Is that how you see me? What? Hmm? What do you mean by she's dying? I'll be on my way immediately. Who's on the verge of death, eh? It's my wife. Eddie just called that she's been rushed to the hospital. Oh, Josh, this is our fault. And I'll never forgive myself if anything bad happens Amma, to Amma, her. listen, I am not in the mood to wipe your tears like a baby. I'm on my way. <gasps> okay, I'm coming with you. Amma, it's not a good idea. This is my best friend that we're talking about here. It's okay, open the gate. Question. The fact that I permitted you 
to continue that your brotherly bond with her doesn't make you the head of my family. You have hurt her beyond what her strength will sustain. See this kettle calling the pot black. Are you not guilty of similar offense? Keep your judgment in your pocket. I don't need it. I asked for the last time. Where is my wife? Will you guys stop this nonsense and act like matured men? She's right, guys. Fighting would only cause unnecessary casualties. Josh, your wife is in the emergency ward. Thanks, Jasmine. Hey. I need to see my wife alone. Okay. Look, Jasmine, you have also tried and sentenced me without hearing my side of the matter. If men were God, hell will not contain mortals. I have no moral right to judge or condemn you. But if I were mercy, I would fight for my place in my husband's house and not be on a useless hospital bed. Mm. This only shows she's a weakling. What happened was destined to happen. No, Amma, I disagree with you. Why? Not every man you see on the streets is available for grab. Didn't you see a marital ring on his finger before you jumped into bed with him? Honestly, I didn't check. You didn't check because you were in a hurry to ride on his shoulder to get off the streets. <sighs> I guess you don't know how it feels like to live on the streets. I fight to keep what is mine and no usurper comes near. Else, her teeth will be demanded for by the lizard. <sighs> Somebody get the doctor! Eddie, please! Get a doctor, my wife is on hey. Somebody help! Of the storm. You don't have to say that. If I hadn't derailed the course of your sail, your boats wouldn't have capsized. So please, why didn't you stay and help me revitalize my boat? No, Josh. How about my son? He's fine where he is. Once he comes of age, I will ensure that you meet him. Goodbye, Josh.
someone comes along and shows us who we really are or who we should be. We all wear a mask, everyone, every day. Sometimes we wear them so much. Honey, please hurry up. I'll be late for my appointment. We are, and sometimes if we are lucky, someone comes along. This conversation is over. It's not. It's over. Josh, I'm talking to you. Ah! Ah! Miss. Easy, easy. Miss. 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 Miss, don't do this. Easy with your steps. just broke. Ah! What should I do? Take me to the hospital. Okay, sure, come here. It's okay, okay, easy. It's okay. Easy, ah! it's, it's okay. You'll be fine. Congratulations to the latest daddy in town. <laughs> You're next in line with a set of twins. I'm in no. <laughs> twins? In this current hardship? <laughs> Whether things are hard or not, I tap into that prayer so you better get ready for action. That's the spirit. <laughs> um, don't worry guys, I'll go check out what's happening to the baby and the newest mommy in town. Of course. Cheers to the newest baby in town. <laughs> Thanks again, my brother.